We interrupt our regularly scheduled program to bring you this special presentation from yours truly, Tina. Hey guys, so we are doing a full face of high-end versus drugstore dupes. Okay, can you tell which one looks like the high-end and which one is the dupe? Can you even tell the difference? Can you even tell I'm using double the makeup products? I don't think so. One's high-end, one's drugstore. I don't think you can figure it out. If you want to see which one is the drugstore and which products are going to be the dupes for the high end, just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get into the video. Let's just go ahead and get started. Today is so exciting. It's my first full face high-end versus drugstore full face uh dupe video my left side which is your right is going to be all high-end and then this side is going to be drugstore i found some pretty good ones uh i have tons of makeup as you can see this is my beauty room yeah it's so exciting i am going to use separate brushes for each side let's go ahead and get right into the look <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get started, right? So I did moisturize with this already. This is the collagen, peptide collagen moisturizer. I found this at Marshalls. I think it was like $8.99. It is so good. They also have eye cream, but I'm not using the eye cream with this today. I used the uh, Versed eye cream. Okay, so of course, first we're gonna start with primers. Primers, primers, primers. Where's my other primer? Come on. Get more organized, Gina. So the first thing we're gonna use is this Primed and Poreless Too Faced Pore Banishing and Blurring Face Primer. So the dupe for this one is gonna be this Revolution Pore Blur Primer. Blue, <laughs> Blur and Prime Primer. That's a tongue twister. Although the texture comes out a little bit different, so here is your Too Faced, and then here's your Revolution, they go on the exact same. So smooth. Yeah, they are, in my opinion, dupes. All right, so here's your Too Faced. Oh, I put a mask on last night and I have some of those little mask things. Yeah, um, since this is my first video doing one of these, just bear with me. Okay, so there is that side. So now the revolution, okay. When it goes on the face, very similar. The final texture, uh, sensation even. Oh, it, it glides on so smoothly. I think this one even glides on a little more smoothly. I don't know. Okay, now that that's all over the face, I like to use also a pore filling primer, like specifically pore filling. So that's where this comes in, the Professional from Benefit. I love this stuff. I will always repurchase this, but I found a dupe. So maybe I will not repurchase that <laughs> because the dupe is so much cheaper. It's gonna look like that. So I just like to use it for my nose, like all my T-zone and my eyelid. And then right here where these folds are, I'll put a little bit. And just like to press it in everywhere where I have some fine lines, you know what I mean? I like to use this where like the crow's feet are, my little smile lines. It always helps. Okay, now we're going to go in with this one. This is the dupe, the Bay Free Pore Minimizing Face Primer. Yeah, I got this on Amazon and it is just like the professional. It even looks the same. Look, it's the exact same. 
So let's go ahead and put it on this side. All in the same areas, eyelid. Yeah, and a little goes a long way. It spreads so nicely on both of them, actually. What is next? <gasps> Foundation. Okay. I'm so excited. Estee Lauder. You guys, I use this for my wedding day. I will always have this in my makeup collection. This is the Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body. It has SPF 15 in it. This is so good. It glides on the skin so nicely. It covers a lot. A little goes a long way. It spreads like butter, you know what I mean? It, it's so smooth. It, it's very lightweight, but yet full coverage. The dupe is gonna be this one. This is the Profusion Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfector. I'm telling you, it is so nice. It even kinda has almost like the same kind of thin, tall, like it kind of resembles each other in a way. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it on. I'm telling you, a little goes a long way, so I don't want to put too, too much. I'll build it, you know, just a little bit. There. Okay, watch. See, it's just so full coverage. And, you know, it dries down very fast, so you have to work fast with it. It is just so nice, you guys. I love this foundation. Okay, so it almost feels like I don't have any makeup on. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Profusion. This one I do notice though, I have to put a little bit more than the other one. Look, look how it just glides on. Oh my gosh. And then this one too, you have to work with fast because it does dry down. This one is very lightweight. But look at the coverage. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. There. Okay. It is so similar, um, very lightweight. I don't even feel like I have anything on my face. Okay, there we go. It looks the exact same to me. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. Next, oh, you know what I like to do? Get a uh, beauty sponge. I'm just going to just kind of set it all like this. Yeah, I don't wet the sponge at all. I just kind of disperse the product evenly. This is a brand new sponge. Dab everything over like that. I don't know. It seems to help in case the brush left like streaks or something. Next, uh, we're going to do under eye color corrector. So we got the CC under eye color corrector from Tarte in the shade light medium. And then so I'm gonna use for the drugstore, this Lottie London. This is called the Bright Bounce Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So this side, this side. The Tarte CC, very, very creamy. The shades are gonna be a little bit different, but I'm telling you the consistency and the end result is gonna look the same. It looks almost the exact same, right? Look at that. Let's go ahead and do under the eyes. Oh, so creamy. Okay, with a different finger, I'm going to go in with the Lottie London. And I got some on the back of my nail. It is so similar. Look at that. It looks the same. It's very creamy. Even though it's not the same color, it has the same effect. 
correct. You know what I mean? And the end result's going to look the same. So we got the color corrector on. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the concealer. This one is so exciting. So for the high end, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. Mine is in the shade Light Medium Honey. And on the drugstore, I'm going to be using this Lamel Clear Complexion Concealer. Yeah, I found this one on Amazon, you guys, and it is almost the exact same. I love how it spreads, how much it covers. Just everything about it is very similar. Let's go ahead and do the concealer now. And then go in with this one. Do y'all still love the shape tape? It is so nice. It glides on like like butter. It it covers so so well. Okay, and then for the drugstore side, we'll use this lamel. See, it goes on like the exact same. I love how you find dupes and they're so much cheaper, you know? It's like a huge price cut. Get that so nice. Okay, again, I like to go in with a dry sponge and just go over that. And then turn it. If you can hear something in the background, it's my dogs. Okay, now we're going to go in with just a powder. We're, we're just going to set with like a translucent powder. The one that I'm going to use is this Jaclyn Correcting Fair Face It All Press Powder. I've used it a few times. I haven't used it so, so much, but it reminds me of this other drugstore dupe. So there's the swatch. Okay, and then for the dupe, we're going to be using this Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Finish Powder. Just as creamy. I mean, it's, it's the same. It is the same. Look at that. That's going to go in to set the under eye concealer and for the full face. On the, the side that says Morphe, I'll use this one. And I'm gonna go all over the face. All right, so I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna use the Wet n Wild one. So lightweight, you know that? All right, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. For the drugstore side, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline City Bronzer. I think that they're so much alike. Minus the fragrance, but they're the exact same. You know, look at that. The shades are the same. Here, they look the same on the swatches. This one is the City Bronzer. This one is the Chocolate Soleil. You can't even tell them apart. So nice, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go in. Mm 
Okay, I'm going to turn the brush to this side and we're gonna use the Maybelline. I'm literally only using the side of the brush. It's the exact same. Okay, and then, you know what I like to do? Let me show you. Get all that. I know it looks colored, but trust me, it is clean. I am going to use these and go back in with the same powder to contour. It's gonna be more chiseled. You're gonna apply more pressure. So we're gonna go in with this one for the Too Faced. You see how it contours it just a little bit more? Go all along the um, hairline. There we go. On the nose, bring it some in the lid and jawline. There, snatched. Then the Maybelline, it's like the exact same, you guys. Okay, now we're gonna go into blush. So for the blush, I'm gonna use uh, NARS Orgasm and this one's gonna be the Milani Bella Bellini number 12 blush. They both have like that shimmer. Almost the exact same, look at that. So this one is the Milani and then this one's the NARS. Look at that, NARS Milani. Look. They both have that sheen and shimmer. Very pretty colors. It's going with the NARS. I love a good NARS orgasm. <laughs> that sounded funny, right? They still sell NARS orgasm, right? I bought this when it was limited edition. Probably expired, but who cares? Who cares? And we're going to go in with a different clean brush with the Milani. The Milani has a little bit more of a sheen, but overall the end result is going to be the same effect. Okay, moving on. This is probably the most exciting one. The high-end side, I'm going to go in with this Pat McGrath Labs and Bridgerton Highlighter. I picked this one up at TJ Maxx. It was $19.99. This one is in the shade Divine Glow. Is that the shade? I think so, right? Anyways, beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous, right? So there's that one. And then for the dupe, this is an Amazon find. This is Cersal Wondrous Glint. I don't know. It's the Cersal brand. Flowerly Leaf Highlighting. Highlighter Power. <laughs> Highlighter Powder. Ah. This is in the shade 01. Oh my gosh, you guys. It even looks the same. See? The exact same. From every angle. Look, I'm telling you, it's the exact same highlighter. So let's go ahead and go with the Bridgerton one first. Very beautiful, right? I love it. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to put here. Let me use my finger too. the brow bone okay so there's the Bridgerton now we're gonna go in with the Sorel I'm gonna go in with the back side for this one 
I even think it's better. Like, really. And then dab it on. So I'm going to get my finger. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Yep, it's better. It's better than the Pat McGrath Labs. <laughs> I get so excited. Okay, I'm going to go in with an all-over fluffy brush. This side. Oh, you know what I forgot? And then this side. Finger. A little bit on one side. One side. And then the other one. This half. <laughs> I'm trying. And that half. Okay. So for brows, I'm going to use this Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This one's in the shade medium brown, by the way. And for the dupe, I'm going to be using this Hard Candy. This is the Marilyn Monroe one. I got it at Walmart. This is the Precision Brow Pencil. They both have a spoolie. The tips are going to be a little bit different shaped, but they overall come out with the same result. Let's do the Too Faced first. Spoolie. The other one is going to be this one. Okay, so to set that, I'm going to be using, for the high end, I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder Brow Now Stay in Place Brow Gel. And for the drugstore, I'm going to be using the NYX one. This one's really good at gripping, but the NYX one is just the same. There you go. The spoolies are the same. Okay, so now we're moving on to the eyeshadow. So for the high end, I'm going to be using this Soft Glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We all know this is a tried and true. This is amazing quality. So for the dupe, I'm going to be using the W7 Romance uh, Neutrals in Love eyeshadow palette they both come with an eyeshadow brush w7 does dupe makeup here's how they look side by side it's the exact same colors on there for this i'm going to use all new makeup brushes they're all in here let's go ahead and start off with this brow bone shade right here go all over the lid and I have hooded eyes for having hooded eyes I have to be more uh, like not as precise you know what I mean and my eye shapes are different so I have to try to make it work okay so large fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with this one it's like a peach shade Bring some to the bottom. Okay. With the same brush, I'm going to go in with this darker shade right there. And concentrate on the outer portion. Circular motions. This is not going to be like a tutorial. I'm just going to show you the final look, but I'm going to fast forward this, put in a little bit of music and um, just enjoy the music and watching me put on the eyeshadow look.
Okay, so that is it for the eye look. Um, let me zoom y'all back in. Now we're gonna go in with the eyeliner. For the high end, I'm gonna be using this Killer Liner from Too Faced. For the drugstore, I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. one. I just recently bought a new one because it was time. I needed a new one, okay? They look identical, right? Look at that. What? They're both kind of like waterproof too. So we're gonna use this for the waterline, top and bottom. Look at that. And then e.l.f. Oh my gosh, they're the same, right? So, so dark. Yeah, I'm telling you, they are both the same. And neither had really any fallout. Okay, you know what I like to do? I like to get some of that and just line right close to the lash line. Just for like extra darkness. And then the leftover, I just kind of smudge the bottom lash line. There. I'm going to go back in with that black just to seal it. This one, get the other brush to seal it. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof. For the drugstore, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. one, the Big Mood Waterproof Mascara. And then of course, for these, the brushes almost look identical. Let's start with the high end. I love this mascara. Now for the drugstore, let's go in with the Big Mood Elf. So that is it. There's a the mascara. I think it looks so good. Okay, so now we're going on to lips. So I got two lip liners here. The first one is for Max. This one is in the shade Staunchy Stylish. For the drugstore, I'm going to use this NYX in the shade 810. They both look the same. Exact same colors. So let's go ahead and go in with the MAC one first. Okay, and then the NYX will go on this side. So there's the lip liner. I'm telling you, it's the exact same. And for the lipstick, I'm going to be using this Give from Gwen Stefani. This is in the shade Screen My Phone Calls. Look how beautiful the packaging is. That is how the lipstick looks. Okay, there's that one. For the dupe, I'm gonna be using this Believe Beauty. They sell this exclusively at the Dollar General. These are the Satin Crush lipsticks in a soft rose. This one is the top and the give is at the bottom. This one looks a little bit more rosier and the Believe Beauty one looks a little bit more like a brick but they they look the same when you put it on the lips okay see it's exact same let me go ahead and fix my hair and i'll be right back all right you guys so this is the final look i absolutely love it what do you guys think i think it looks beautiful it looks the exact same you don't have to spend a lot of money guys just go look at other youtubers see what they use see what the dupes are out there a matter of fact drugstore products are amazing about maybe like 10 years ago they were stepping up their game the drugstore but now they have caught up to high end quality so anyways, let me know your comments down below. What do you think? I just can't believe it. So that's going to be it. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. You know what I plan on doing? A video with my husband, the husband tag. 
Mm -hmm. I got to get some questions. Ooh, let me know if you have any questions for us. Maybe I can include those on that video. I want to film it. And I think he's finally caving in so we can get that video rolling. Hmm. Hmm.